Now, Jurgen Klopp is encouraged by his team's ability to still do special things. Liverpool have won six in a row to give them hope of Champions League qualification. Klopp is glad his team have showed not everything is bad. We play a really bad season. I think everybody in this room agrees. And now we have 62, 62 points. So it's strange. There is still quality in, in the boys, in us. Um, and I'm really happy that we could show up a little bit. Wherever it will end up, it's really not about that. I know everybody wants to go now to Champions League. I understand it 100% I want. It's just not really likely. That's the situation we created. Um, but um, to show up and show again that we are able to, to do special things, I'm, I'm really happy about. And winning six games in a row is special. And if it would be easy, we would have done it much more often. Other teams would have done it much more often. Adding the seventh on it is even more difficult. And eight and nine really difficult so because it's it's football and the other teams prepare as well for the games and they have as well their targets and all these kind of things so that makes it really difficult but um with this part of the season obviously gave us a clear sign okay we are still there not everything is bad um about us and around us now we had a bad season that's it but let's see what we can make of it Liverpool are currently only one point behind fourth place to Manchester United, but Klopp admits a top four finish is unlikely. So could that affect their transfer targets for the summer? When I talk to a player, and he, he, um, he, I'm, if I'm allowed to talk to a player, which is barely the case, to be honest, but in the moment when you are, then uh, when you talk, then you realise then, and he, in his eye, but then it's already clarified because we are not, we are. We cannot, be, we cannot tell anybody in the moment that we will be definitely in Champions League next year. So if he's talking to us, then it's probably already clear uh, that he knows about that situation. And that's why I'm not concerned about that fact. I mean, of course, everything is more difficult without Champions League. That's how it is, um, especially in the long term. So we should not do these kind of things more, uh, more often. Um, but apart from that... It's absolutely OK, the situation we are in, from, 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 from a talking point of view and com, from a convincing point of view. Debate continues to surround Mo Salah and whether he is one of Liverpool's and the Premier League's all-time greats. You know, Klopp says he shouldn't be overlooked. No, not from us, not from the Liverpool supporters, maybe from you. I don't know. Because this question is now not the first time that I hear it. Um, means um, not from us. And I say a lot of times he all, will be an all-time great after he finishes his career. But now he's still in his career. And if you see more every day, there's still um, re a really uh, a good few years in his legs and in his body. So um, the numbers will even improve. And um, that's absolutely great. No, we don't overlook it. But I can imagine if you, the question is asked that often that it might, you might be guilty to overlook it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>